Hello, my darlings, and welcome. How is everybody doing today? Hello, Maha and Scarlet Nymph. Hey Peckish. Hey Lady Raven, fourthborn child, Misha. Hey everybody. Hi North. That was a fun sound. Oh, I forgot one thing. I'll be right back. Can't forget the most important thing, the glitter. Hi, Juliet. Hi, Mary Beth. Gina is here. Who did I miss? I think I got everybody. So today I am inspired by Corrigan the Crone. She did a video showing her Ostara altar. I can't find it because I wanted to link it below. But I, I remember it. <laughs> And everything was so jewel toned and, and uh, deeply colored that I thought, you know what? I want to repaint all my Ostara stuff. That's this really pale pastel colors. I do have a little bit of, uh, a little bit of wax <laughs> from my candle holders. I made candle holders out of these egg cups. I actually put the candles inside of eggshells. You guys can find that old video on my channel if you want. These little, these little chime candle holders. A few other things to repaint here. Red Lorraine says, it's chilly today, yes. So I think I'll just make my green into a darker green and my pink into this coral red and my pale sky blue into this uh, kind of darker teal. Get all my wax off. I should have thought about that. Because these guys were painted and mod podged. Thought this would be an easy fun way to start the stream and then get into something a little bit more difficult later we're going to do some needle felting i haven't done needle felting in a minute so i hope i do well is everybody um doing this winter or this spring early spring evening it's raining and cold where I am. Lisa, you have phone anxiety and you have to do all your parent-teacher conferences on the phone. Would it be better if they would be willing to Skype you or Zoom or something like that? Or would you just prefer them in the classroom in person? I already like these better.
much better. Red Lorraine says, I'm not feeling well today. Oh no, I'm sorry. So I'm just watching you do things today instead of trying to do anything other than just paying attention. I was going to cancel this live stream because I'm not ready to go on my trip. And I haven't finished packing and I haven't finished my videos. And then I thought, you know, it'll just be a fun time to hang out and relax and not stress too much. So I decided to keep the stream going today. Use this as my mental health time. <laughs> Cause I'm going crazy trying to get ready for this trip. Still get my videos out. Not sure if you can tell, but this is kind of a, it, a, on the camera, it looks a lot lighter than it is. So it is a deeper aqua than it appears, at least on my monitor. I'm going to let this dry and paint the bottom part in a minute once I can hold the top part. I love streaming with you guys. It's such a chill, fun time. I, I get stressed out before I push the streaming button. I, I get nervous, but then once I'm actually just hanging out with you guys, it's, I'm always glad we're doing it. You know, it's it just, it's so fun to do something live because my videos are edited within an inch of their lives because of TikTok. And because nobody has a, an attention span more than 60 seconds anymore, I cut out every um, pause, every moment, every hesitation, every decision. So it's fun to actually show a project in real time. The kind of thing I kind of... I. I crave to do now that everything has been shortened by the TikTok world. Not that I'm not going to do TikTok. I'm going to do that any minute now. I'm going to get involved in that in all my copious free time. It's kind of a challenge to take a project that took you an hour to do and get 60 seconds that communicates that project. It's a, it's a real brain twister. I like it. <laughs> Lisa says, I have super exciting trip plans. October 13th of Friday, I'm going to Salem, Massachusetts. Cool. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and paint the bottom once I can touch the top. Something I would edit out, right, <laughs> in a video. I must put my paintbrush in my coffee. Paintbrush. My brain is a little scattered, you guys, thinking about 17 different things. Green. So the reason I went with green 
in this kind of olive color instead of more of a bluey green. So I found this at a thrift store years ago. I live for this little gal, guy, dude, whatever. He's a green ceramic rabbit. He's ancient because he's all crackled and weird, but I love him. So I decided that uh, he's always on my Ostar altar. So I decided to go with this green color to kind of match him. And then I got this little guy and he's got the green, my little statue. This is for my Beltane altar, actually, but, you know, spring. And then I have this little guy. And also with much green. So I thought, yeah. I almost considered this, you know, purpley color, too. But then I thought, nope, I'm going to steer away from the pastels. So those little hummingbirds are for my Beltane altar, but... They can go on the Ostar altar too. I feel like Ostara bridges Emolk and um, Beltane. So there's kind of a in between stuff from both kind of a situation, depending on whether it's still snowing where you are or if flowers are blooming. Depends on your climate. This looks kind of cool. The paint going over the lighter paint. Mm. Nope. No focus for me. Kind of cool looking. We have the lighter showing through. Renee says, people are super impatient. Yes, absolutely. And even if they aren't, all of the things that YouTube um, professionals watch to find out what they're supposed to be doing says that they are. So they've got us running scared and really tightening up that edit, you know? I don't have an intro anymore because people will just leave your video if you have an intro. Oh, yeah. It's pretty interesting how things have changed just in the four years that this channel's been going. Maha says, yeah, we all need to reacclimatize to listening to people in real time without being perfect. Red Lorraine says, the part I love most about this stream are all the things you just said that you cut out. The authentic decision making is why I'm here. Okay, well, real talk. Most of the decision making on stream happens before the stream. It takes me many, many hours to prep for this stream. Because I have to decide what the project is. And usually I have to buy some materials ahead of time. I have to prep all the artwork. Set it up a couple days ahead of time. And then on the day I have to make sure everything is here so I'm not getting up out of my chair every five seconds. I have to make all my color choices, my materials choices. I have to kind of mentally do all this in my head so I kind of know how long it's going to take and if it's going to work. A two-hour stream probably takes me five hours of prep. Man, that aqua really went on nicely and this, um, this olive green is 
not as pigmented. It's going to take a couple coats. It's just not covering in the same way. Maha says, it's still snowing, but I can hear cardinals. They're getting started. Cardinals are so interesting. They don't migrate. They just stick it out in the snow. Most of the other birds are like, I'm out of here. There's no food. I feel like if I was going to make a spirit guide card for the Cardinals, I would make stubbornness one of the uh, attributes. Nope, not leaving. I'm going to make it work. I wonder why they don't migrate. If anybody knows, speak up and chat. North says, we had a nor'easter storm yesterday, another foot of snow. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I'm complaining about the rain. Actually, I'm not complaining. I love the rain. But it's definitely chilly. Yeah, this coverage is blah. The thing is, it's the same brand of paint, so it's just the pigment. Definitely a richer saturation of color for sure. We'll come back to this green, I think, more than once. Doesn't matter how good the inside of the cup is, because I think I'm going to put a little nesties in these guys for this year. How many of you guys have ever tried needle felting? I will be very interested to know. Should I run a poll to see? How do, oh, but I have it on subscriber only for chatting cause I don't want, I hate bots. Engage with your audience. Okay, start a poll. I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, I did a poll. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it up for a while. So, yes, uh, apologies because um, you have to be a subscriber to chat. You have to be a subscriber for one minute or longer. So, <laughs> um, doesn't cost anything to subscribe on YouTube. Just to avoid the, the bots that are always trying to Tell me I need to meet a Russian model or something. Okay, let's get the camera more straight. Oh, it's this that's not straight. Does that bother anybody? 
to look at something that's not straight on camera for a long time. North says, I love the winter and the snow, but not so much losing power. We didn't lose it last night, thankfully. Had all my candles ready. <laughs> North says, thank you for your amazing work. Oh, no problem. I love that you guys all call me MC or Lady MC. There were a couple of people last stream who said, I don't know what your name is. So I, oh, I think of you as Matilda or something like Martha or Matilda. I can't remember. So I put a new, did you guys notice the new uh, words on the, on the frame? It says, I, it actually says my name. <laughs> That way people everybody can be in the know instead of just the few people who've heard me mention it in the past I also put some new emotes up so if you are a member of the channel you can goof around in your emotes and see the new ones this week S. Brock says, at least you don't have to edit a stream video. Oh, I uh, record all of my streams and I do make videos out of some of them. The only thing I do to my streams later on is um, sometimes I go in and edit out really long times that I was away from the camera if I had to run and go get something. Because YouTube lets you edit your um, lives afterwards, so you can take little bits out. So that's kind of nice. Okay, next. Maha says, I love the red crest. They're so cute. Being from California originally, cardinals were always exotic for me. I think we have a yellow cardinal here in California. See now, look at the coverage on this. It's amazing. One shot and it's covered. Yeah, that green is just meh. Oh, you know what? I bet you the formulation is different. No, it's the same. Sometimes um, I, I notice if it's for all surfaces, including outdoor, they formulate it differently. Anne says, stirring a little bit of baking soda into the paint, is that going to make it the green better? Is that like a little hack? It will make the paint thicker, yeah. Patient Pink Panther. I tried it and I haven't been very successful at the patience it takes to make anything the irony of your username is not lost on me. I have done it a few times a few years ago. I like it. 
but it does take a long time. I don't know how far we'll get on a rabbit on stream. I don't know if we'll be able to finish a rabbit or if uh, I'll get a body <laughs> or what will happen. I never know what's going to happen on stream. That's the exciting part. Just driving over a cliff here. Oh, this paint is everywhere. It's all over me. I can see there's going to be a little bit of break in the middle of the stream for me to wash my hands before needle felting happens. Okay, while we're waiting for these things to dry and whatnot, I'm going to paint these little eggs. We've got some um, treasure gold and just the gold, the plain gold. Misha says, it's nice to know your name, yay. Elena is getting another snowstorm tomorrow for three days. Oh. I don't think I thought this through well enough because the drying time on these guys. It's going to take a minute to be able to handle them again. I'm repainting my yellow one's gold. I did like the speckled eggs. That was fun. I got, I made everything a total mess with the brown speckling. The paint went everywhere, I remember. Matthew's Living Adventures asks, are you putting magic and intention into this activity? I would say that I am. It's for my altar for Ostara. So this is an activity that just honors that holiday. Rabbits and eggs are fertility symbols that are really popular on this holiday. I guess I only had two yellow eggs, so let's see if we can cover a blue one. Might take more than one coat on this. Lisa asks, May I ask why you pause when you start painting? Hmm. Do I? Or is it because I'm turning on the camera to record? This little record, little record button right here. Because all my stream, my stream footage gets edited into shorter videos. Or am I not understanding the question? Do I just have a short pause that I always do that I just don't, I've never noticed before? Okay, we will come back to this gold once these little guys are drier. How are we doing over here with blue? Perfect, okay, good timing. Anne says, needle felting is hard for me. My hands go numb. Oops, we've already got our color here. Now we can do the bottom.
I love the gold eggs. Me too. I, uh, I do like a gold egg. I actually have another video on my channel about um, a golden egg that I made as a uh, good fortune, um, wealth attraction kind of a talisman. And it's meant to be set at your front door to bring wealth into your home. I keep it in my office now, but I kept it at the front door for a long time. I feel like needle felting is a great thing to put your intentions into. Every time you stab the Every time you stab the item. Also the same thing with uh, not, not work, not magic with like crochet and knitting and that kinds of stuff. Macrame can tie your intentions into your craft project. I love doing a witchy craft project at least once a month with you guys. No matter how busy life gets, we can at least sit down twice a month, hang out. Also, now that this green has um, gotten a little less wet because it's dried a bit, it's a little better. But no, still not great. It looks nice and mossy. It's fine. you're putting your intentions in them at that time. Yes, I am absolutely putting my intentions into everything I do all the time. I've started doing that thing. Well, you hear it all the time. People say, stir your intentions into your coffee or your tea in the morning. And I feel like that's a really abstract suggestion. But people really want to have a daily practice. The, the concept of a daily practice is so popular. And so rather than just do something weekly, people want to be able to give suggestions for something quick and easy every day. And that's, I hear that in every single video for daily practice, stir your intentions into your coffee and your tea. Most people will just stir in the shape of a pentagram or they'll stir like Wittershins or whether they want to get something to come into your life or to leave your life, that kind of thing. Which way you stir. But I've decided when I stir, <laughs> it just seemed so rudimentary and almost like a throwaway habit. It didn't seem intentional. Because the idea of it just being so quick and easy makes it almost less intentional. So I've started trying to come up with something for the day, like a theme for the day as I'm pouring my coffee. And then when I stir my intention in, I'm actually using a stylus to write a sentence. Like I'm actively writing the sentence in the coffee rather than just stirring. It's 
So I'm telling myself to do a specific thing every single day by writing the sentence to myself in my drink. And then I'm literally drinking that intention. You, I'm taking it into myself, if that makes sense. What do you guys think of that? Just try to zhuzh it up a little bit, you know? I feel like if you don't have time to do something as a daily practice, don't do it. If it's important to you, do it. And if it's um, impossible to do something daily, do something weekly. Do something when you want to and you need to and when you feel called to. I think all the pressure that people put on themselves for this daily practice thing is too much. Okay, let's see here. It's dried a bit. It's dried enough for me to be able to touch it. So that's good. It's gonna need a coat or two though. Elaine is going to pass off all the snow blowing duties. Good for you. I missed a bunch of um, chat there when I was holding forth. The gold eggs always remind me of Willy Wonka. I feel like witchy craft projects are an excellent way to, um, yeah calm down and be still. Even when I'm worried about dead air and I'm, when I'm not actively doing something, this guy can go. with this gold my coffee is literally magical yes this coffee this morning was show yourself a little grace so that's literally what I'm drinking when you do a whole sentence because it, you would be surprised how long it takes to inscribe each letter of a sentence into your coffee. Yes, there will be a break between projects for me to wash my hands for sure. I just touch which paint wet paint with my sweater. Yes, I did. Ugh. Crafting on camera is fun until it's not. Okay, I think we got some coverage there. Cool. Look at some chat. Alina says, thank you. These dreams have helped me get through on the hard days. Absolutely. It's my pleasure to be here. Mm 
Maha says the ancient Greeks called it enthusiasmos. Like enthusiasm, is that where we get the word enthusiasm? When drinking wine, it's like taking Dionysus into yourself. I think that concept can work with your own intentions and other drinks. Misha says, I just rescued two red rabbits six months ago, a brother and a sister. And although they won't stay on my altar, I can still celebrate their symbol. Oh, oh, Rex rabbits, not red rabbits. I, did, I don't know um, rabbit information, so I was just going with it. Hey, Cindy made it. Hello, Cindy. Lisa said, I had some of those wood candlesticks in my craft stash who inspired me to paint with you today. Awesome. These little guys um, hold chime candles, which it's kind of hard to find small, um, small candle holders. Anne says, I do my practice every two weeks. There you go. Yes, that's where we get the word enthusiasm. There we go. Followers of Bacchus were very enthusiastic about many things. Especially wine. Or did you say Dionysus? Yeah, Dionysus. Okay. I'm going to call it on these. I don't know, this blue one just did not... Did not work like the yellows did. Yikes. It's not, the blue is not great. We're going to roll with it. <laughs> See what I did there? Because they won't stay. Yeah. Because they're round. I have watched some other art and crafting streams, and I find that they're pretty heavy on the talking and pretty light on the art or crafting. So I feel like I have to pick things that I can keep moving along with. So I'm wondering how needle felting is going to go. It's my first try on that. I hope it's not too slow. Maha says, Dionysus equals Bacchus. Oh, and the word orgy just means religious rite in ancient Greek. This is a kind of a vintage metallic. It's, um, it's called treasure gold, and they have all sorts of different kinds of gold. Some of them are more antique, and they have like metallic silver, metallic colors. The coverage is not perfect, but it will do for what we're doing it for. This is a mess. I mean, it's awful. Should I just go get a different green? I don't know. Maybe one more coat. I'm going to hit it with the, the heat gun. Just to let you know, there's going to be sounds now.
88% of people say no. Oh my gosh, needle felting was not the call. It does look like the candy. Hey, Tammy. Oh, we got some, we got some show through on this blue. It needs another coat. It needs one more coat on the blue. Oh, that's right. I am going to cover it in glitter. We're fine. <laughs> I forgot. Here's the glitter. This is from, um, this is from, from, my. Uh, <laughs> Scarlet Nymph, whose name I forgot. Somehow. Okay, let's look at this glitter. Let's glitter these babies up. You guys can get this on her shop. Scarlet Nymph on Etsy. There's a link for a um, discount below the stream because she's a friend of mine. Not sponsored. She's a friend of mine. You can kind of see like here's like an enormous piece of glitter on the side. You can see some of the glitter in here is big. Some of it is small. It's really hard to see on camera. Let's get closer. So it goes on um, kind of a white color like Mod Podge does, and then it dries clear. Got to give everything a shot of glitter. And I can't remember if this one is gloss or matte. Maybe Red Lorraine will tell us. Or I can just dry it and find out my damn self. Okay, glitter which is in the house. Now I do have a, um, do I have a new emoji that says glitter witch? No, wait, what did I make a new emoji of? Let me look at my own emojis. They are gloss. Okay, yeah, sorry, I forgot. Lori's here, hi. Lori Darbs the Mystic Willow says, hello everyone, sorry I'm late. No, you're not late, you're on time. Nope, I did, I did make the glitter, um, the glitter emoji, like a little bit more readable on the dark, on the, on the dark version. But yeah, I did some outlines. We have a pentacle now. We have a witch with purple hair now. Um, we have the logo for the channel. So the Magical Crafting logo is now an emote that you get. Um, cup of Coffee, An Evil Eye. Black Cat is still on there. I just put an outline, kind of changed the eyes to green. There is now a crystal ball. And I changed the bus. And I changed the skull. So now we have a struggle bus. But at just the word struggle bus instead of actually having a bus actually having a bus emoji didn't really make any sense. Why won't this focus on me? There we go. So like I said, this will dry clear. Just has that kind of white 
initial. I love this chunky glitter. It makes me happy. Some of these pieces of glitter are a little big for this current project. For these tiny little candlesticks. While we're waiting for these to dry, I'm going to make little nesties that go inside these egg cups. I'm still working on making the emojis good. Some are better than others. I really like the pentacle. And the witch. Okay. These are going to be so sparkly when they dry. Got to complete this one. This one doesn't have any on the top. She has three different sizes of this glitter, by the way. So there are smaller containers if you do not need a enormous one. So check out her shop link below. Okay, let these babies dry. Let's get a little further back so we can see these egg cups. There we go. <laughs> Look at these hands. These are the hands of an art witch. Yeah, we're doing it. Okay, so let's get our little, our little rabbi out here. He's filled with all the things I was thinking would be fun to make a, a nest out of. So I did grab a little bit of needle felting wool in these green colors. And then I grabbed a little bit of like, a, hmm, moss. And then a little bit of raffia. I might actually use scissors here. This does not want to let go. Okay, there we go. 
We're gonna put these guys aside to dry for now. So they don't get all the nest stuff stuck to them in the glitter. That kind of looks cute, just like that without a nest. It's very satisfying to watch you paint on the glitter. Yeah, I like to really just get in there. Just really get in there. So I'm just smonching these together. So we've got the, the moss inside the raffia. It all just kind of goes together. And then I'm going to do a little bit of this wool here and there. I've got three different kind of brownish and greenish colors. I really, li I'm liking the, the bright colors too. Hello. Hello friends. Smiley day to you. Okay. Now let's make three different nests. Now let me sponge this all around. This feels like something that birds would have gathered together and tucked around in their nests, doesn't it? See how this looks. I feel like it needs to get wound in more. This was a very lazy bird who didn't do any tucking. Let's get it all together. Pekka says, my nest looks so real. Yay, that's what I was going for. I was like, what are all the different things that they get? This is just the raffia stuff that you sometimes get in like a gift basket. Helpful says, I keep a small jar next to my clothes dryer for the lint. The birds in my yard love it for nest building. I put, I put it into a suet feeder so it doesn't all blow away. Oh, that's smart. Okay, I think we've, we've got something akin to a nest here. Mm, I think it needs more. It's too empty in there. Needs more fluff. Maybe I should start needle felting these little guys. Can make a little needle felted nest. That would be cute. Okay, new project for next year.
And he says, I also add any old towel, also any old towels. I hang them on the fence next to my feeders and watch them pick out the threads. Oh. Is anybody watching The Last of Us? The show on HBO. This would make one giant, really good giant nest too. But we're going to make two small ones. I'll just tear this apart. Ugh. It's really interesting to see what they did with uh, kind of the world after, after people. There are still people, but it's very uh, post-apocalyptic. Just think to yourself, you know, the animals don't care if we're here or not. They're going to keep building nests and keep doing their thing. There's my little nest. This is why it didn't matter if the inside of the cup was painted well or not. I wonder if I should do some gold decoration with a, like a gold paint pen or something on the outside of these cups. Or we could do glitter on them too. But not during this stream. Hmm. What cute little representations of fertility for my altar. North says, I love Pedro Pascal. Brock, S. Brock says, Last of Us, excellent, emotionally wrenching. North says, yes, gold on the cups. Or even like gold rhinestones or beads or something, so it looks like a fancy goblet. Helpful says, uh, we no longer have HBO, but I'm totally into The Mandalorian on Disney. Moira's here. Hello. I think my nest got better as I went. This one's a little meh, and then this one's better, and then this one's really good. Like super realistic. I think actually the more messy, the better. Oh, my little green in there. How fun is this? We had three little decorations for our altar. Cool. Got a little bit of this left. Toss it to the side. I did see a meme the other day that said, um, if your girlfriend is watching The Mandalorian on Disney Plus and The Last of Us on HBO, she is not your girlfriend. She's Pedro Pascal's girlfriend. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. I'm digging these, you guys. Let's get closer. It's kind of hard to see from the top. Let's do a side view. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> she is not your girlfriend. She's Pedro Pascal's girlfriend. Okay, let's get these guys in here and dry them with our air dryer. So we can see the beautiful glitter.
I may have put this glitter on too thick because it hasn't dried yet. You can get an idea of what it's going to look like once it does dry. There's a lot of white still involved. I'm going to set these aside and let them dry while we do the needle felting and maybe we can come back and see how they look in an hour or so. Pop some candles in them, get a general idea of the look. I'll put these on their side so we can at least see that much. And I do think that we need to add some gold to the cups, maybe a little line or something like that as well. Maybe with a gold paint pin. Love it. Okay, guys, I will be right back. I need to wash my hands and swap out the craft. Um, I wonder if I should just put on a be right back thing. I'll show you um, some of my, you know what? I will put on the retreat overlay and that way you guys can get information about the retreat. And I will be right back.
Hey everybody, I'm back. Back, back, back. All right, we're back. I want to show you, before we get started, I want to show you some of the really cool ones that I found uh, on the internet, on Pinterest. Look how cute some of these rabbits are. If I can do about half as good as any of these, I will be thrilled. Thank you, everybody. I'm just going through the chat. That's why I went silent for a second. Thank you, everybody who stayed during my little break to wash my hands. <laughs> Inkadoodle arrived. Who else got here? Moira's here. Okay, Esbrock. Everybody is still here. Yay. Okay. Pagan Crafting. Hi, I am back. I wonder if I should just make a video for my... um for my Be Right Back. I also have a Be Right Back movie. It looks like this. But it's, I don't know. It has music and whatnot. Would that be better to put up when I'm doing things like washing my hands? <laughs> anyway, I, I do have one. <laughs> but aren't those really cute rabbits? I saw those on Pinterest. See, most of my project ideas come from Pinterest first, and then I, I witchy them up. So if I can get halfway <laughs> to the cuteness level of those. But I'm going to cheat because I am not going to use so much uh, felt that it... Um, you know, to make the body, I'm going to cheat with this giant sponge that you use to wash your car. And I thought I would use this little guy as my, um, nope, not that. This little guy right here as my inspiration for the shape of the body. Look at the size of his ears. I mean, I can't even... was originally thinking you can also use one of these guys, one of these little um, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser kind of things if you want to do a small body. But I thought I would try to do something kind of big. You like the stars and moon? Okay, I'm just going to use my B right back because people thought I was, people thought I was done. That's scary. Um, so I'm just going to kind of draw what I see. Like here's my head and then here's my body and it goes down to like a leg. Right. His little chest, his little leg. Right. And then we'll put the ears on separately. We'll put all the the tail on separately and the front legs on separately, all that. So, there's no cheating in crafts. It's all fair game, baby. Oh, yeah. I just don't think that, you know, this stuff is kind of expensive. Um, I don't really want to spend all that money to have to add the inside it's like it's like when you make a ball of tin foil to be the inside of your polymer clay because you don't want to have the whole thing be clay because you know it'll never bake and it's a it's very expensive so I'm just going to cut this out roughly it doesn't have to be perfect no one will see this this is this is our ball of tin foil basically
Moira's like, we have your back. <laughs> yeah, we, you guys are all my ambassadors. The people who chat with each other and let other people know it's not over. She's coming right back. I had to get a fresh coffee. Now, honestly, I haven't needle felted in years, so, and I've never tried anything quite this ambitious and large, so we'll see. I'm going to take this rabbit off the screen for a minute, and we can come back to it. I also have a few close-ups of, like, what their eye looks like, and, like, uh, you know, an example of, like, the side shape of the head because those ears are way back there and um kind of a a front view so I'm hoping to get the shapes right by having several views to look at so we'll use those as needed and I'm not sure how far we'll get I'll get as far as we can and then it'll eventually become a video. We've got your bee right back. <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. Okay, let's round, start rounding it. I tried to watch some videos on people doing um, needle felted rabbits, but um, then I died of boredom and then I was resurrected just in time to do the stream. So thank Jeebus for that. Honestly. Okay, maybe it's too fat. Maybe it needs to be... Mm, hairs are pretty skinny. Oh, my music. I forgot to have my music on. It's back. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take it down, take it downtown. We're gonna add the tail and the ears and the front legs on separately. So all we need is a, a body and a head. I could probably do the head separately too. Is the season for zombies. <laughs> yep. That's what Easter's about. Now we can shape this with our needle felting. We don't have to shape this with our scissors 100%. I just want to get the rough shape so that I don't have to work so hard. But I mean, the head is a round blob, as we know. You know, that seems good, right? I think it's thin enough. Still looks like a sponge down here. Probably do these little feet separately too, but we'll see. Dun da da da, there's our rabbit. I think these feet are gonna fall off anyway. I cut into them too far. Oopsie. Let's give him a chin so he doesn't have a receding chin. We'll build up the rest of the face by hand. Okay. I'm going to call that good. Because you know me, I can just keep going and going. Oh, no, the back of his head. Looking a little triangular. Okay. 
There's, there's our rabbit. Let's clean our mess. Inky Doodle says, oh my God, a ball of, chat scrolled away while I was reading it. <laughs> oh my God, a ball of foil in polymer clay. Why didn't I think of that? Oh yeah, that's the trick. So you can save millions of dollars of clay by using five cents worth of tin foil. <laughs> today is just a day, isn't it? First it's paint, now it's, now it's this. Static. Help me. Okay. This is the part that gets edited out of the videos. <laughs> Static cling. Yes, and now I want coffee and chocolate. Yes, get both. Even though those were not chocolate, somebody asked that earlier. This is painted wood. But it does make me want to have chocolate for sure. Okay, sorry, I missed some chat there. Cindy says, this just may be the inspiration I need for a new craft. Moira says, now if you'd sell these on Etsy, just saying, oh, I'd make five cents an hour. You've got to do it for love. Helpful. This is not going to be wet. I think you're thinking of like um, kind of a wet felting situation where it, it shrinks down. This is going to be a dry So let's see if this looks exactly like the picture. Oh yeah, 100%. I've never seen anything so similar. So the leg, uh, so the arms are gonna come down here where my fingers are. So this leg is way too far forward. This leg needs to be way back here. So da 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 da. A little footy does not need to be this far. Okay. Losing the foot. We were almost there. like I'm gonna have to add these little footies on separately just use this as the body this is the smarter call so you can always add things you can always add more and more and more but you can't take away so think about needle felting like you do watercolors so if you do watercolors this will makes sense to you how you start with the lightest color and you build up layers and layers and layers ending with the darker colors so for example the entire rabbit is going to be starting with the the lightest color so i am going to just start with this light color as on the whole body and then we're going to build up with all of our tan and our browns and that kind of stuff to add color to it if i do this over here what if here's a thought what if i move the rabbit over to the left and then i do this here so we can yeah So is the theme for today the fact that we're trying to cover blue with a lighter color? Because we were doing that with the eggs and now we're trying to, <laughs> trying to do this with our, 
a rabbit. Let me show you my tools. For some of the bigger work, you're going to want um, these. Okay, here's a five, five, three, two, and one. So depending on how detailed you want your work, if you want to just start with you know, a big old clump onto a big old shape, you can just you know, do the five. That's a good way to start. Just covering. I'm gonna cut this down one more time because I need the head to be smaller or the neck to be smaller. further away. It's not too close. There we go. So I'm going to cover the basic body with this whitish ivory. Another way you can do this is to build up an armature with um, wire or even um, pipe cleaners. I just thought the sponge would be a good a good call. Once again, we just want to make a big blob to start. Like every art project, it's going to look like but at the beginning. And it's similar to, like, if you think of all of these colors as your paint colors and that you're adding each, each color on top and that you're painting, except that you're painting with wool. Hmm. I sure hope I didn't mess up with this whole idea of, there we go. I just like to use one. <laughs> this five is supposed to be five times as fast, but it was just momching everything. This is more precision. Moira asked, does anyone have any other crafts on the go? I love to watch, but I'm not very crafty, but I'm painting a Lenormand deck. How fun. Lenormand is something I want to learn, but I haven't yet. I have considered making a Lenormand deck, but I, when I first started thinking about learning it, it seemed kind of, I'm not sure if old fashioned is the word, but like, I think somebody needs to design a modern Lenormand deck. If that makes sense.
North says, I used to buy this bamboo fluff for the center of my needle felting. That way cheaper than pure wool. Oh yeah, absolutely. So you can still see a bit of the blue underneath. So we're just going to keep building up layers. This might be part that I edit out of the video is all this initial. <laughs> of course, that wouldn't be helpful then for people trying to learn how to do it. The initial coating is important. And if anybody has any suggestions, anyone who actually does needle felting, I, I honestly died of boredom watching other people doing needle felting on YouTube. So then I just decided I would do it myself and figure it out as I went. But if I'm doing something wrong, please let me know. Please help me. I love to learn. I love advice. I feel like I'm shaking the camera. Is it okay? Lisa said, I just finished eight candlesticks. Green, yellow, red, blue, purple, black, white, and silver. Just waiting for them to dry to add glitter Mod Podge. Oh yeah. Oh, the other tool that I have is like a three... Let's see. Do I have a three? Oh, yeah. I have a three over here. That doesn't do the, the push in thing, so I think three would be good. I did see a uh, meme that said, don't mess with a, I think it was a cross stitcher, but I think it, it applies here too, because we've proven that we can stab things thousands of times. <laughs> I think it applies to needle felting too. This definitely needs to become a video that's edited down. very therapeutic though I have to say okay let's cover his little head Give him a little hat. You can kind of see his little proud little chest here. Kind of see how the shape is gonna gonna work. 
I hope this is more ASMR and, and less annoying scratchy sound because uh, I don't have any way of making it less less loud. So this right here is his butt. So he'll have a tail right here. And then you'll have a leg and a foot, and then you'll have front feet. It almost looks like the shape of a bird right now. <laughs> you could be like Martha Stewart and have swap outs. Oh yeah, like all the cooking shows where the turkey just goes into the oven then comes right back out perfectly cooked. Can you imagine how much time prepping for the stream would be if I had to have a uh, already done picture or an already done? Needle felted rabbit. <laughs> I think the stream would lose some of its, I've never tried this before. I hope it works feel <laughs> if I'd actually done it before. But when I say I haven't done something, I really haven't. I promise you. <laughs> We're learning together. <laughs> so I'm just going to make his face a round blob, and then we're going to add all the shapes of the nose and the cheeks and that kind of stuff and the eyes over top. So this little guy's going to get built up. Right now he's super soft, but as you continue to do needle felting, the wool gets firmer and firmer. So it actually starts to get pretty hard. Those ears, that the reason I chose this picture specifically be, was because of those ears, all the other pictures of European rabbits that I found had slightly smaller eared rabbits and I was like nope I want this guy <laughs> we're gonna make his ears separately on a um, on a pad so we'll actually make the shape of his ear two ears on the pad and then we'll remove them from the pad and put them on the on the body See this little brown dot right here? That was one single piece of um, this brown fuzzy that got stuck in and I hit hit it with the needle thing and it made this, it took it all the way in and it made that little brown dot. So you can literally draw with this um, color. Like I'll give you an example. Take a little field trip onto this. Real quick. Oh, focus on that. Let's do a manual focus real quick. Here we go. So say we wanted to um, make a little bunny rabbit tail. And these needles have just like a little bit of um, serratedness to them so that they catch and push the, the threads in.
Oh, and by the way, these needles will break after a certain amount of time using them or if you get them bent in some way. So usually the kits that you buy online will give you a, a bunch of these and they, you just replace them when they break. I tried to use the lowest gauge or the thickest ones for this stream just so that I wouldn't have one break. They come in different gauges. The lower the number, the thicker the needle. So we have like a little tail here and say we want to add a little bit of dark brown into it. We just grab a little bit of the brown and you, and you can just literally almost almost draw with it. If you wanted to make like a little line, you could take a little line of it. So if you can see what I mean by the, the idea of like a watercolor, you take your lightest color and then you start putting darker colors over it. And since this is actual wool, sheep's wool, it kind of is, I mean, there's always some little inclusions in it. It's not always one color. Sometimes it's dyed and it's all one color, but like you can see the difference between a dyed one that's been like really well combed and then something that's more straight, <laughs> straight from the farm feeling. Hey, Fern is here. Hi. Yes, you can make paintings with needle felting. Oh, yeah, I hadn't thought about that, but sure. You could put you could put them on a flat, make a flat surface and then just put it in a frame. Yeah, sure. It's a good idea. I'm just showing you guys how you can add fern. I'm just showing you how you can add a darker color to a lighter color. I don't know if you guys can see on his butt, but it's mostly a white tail, but then it has a little brown on it. So once I was finished with this, this would go right under his, under his butt and it would be attached by all this little floof that I left here for attaching. So the little boop, or should the, the boop, I think the dark is on the bottom. Maybe it's on both. I'll have to look at a bunny tail. But let's keep going with making his poofy little head. There are some people who can make things that look so real. Once you fall into the rabbit hole of looking at this stuff on Pinterest, oh, wow, people can just make, and then people will um, make replicas of your um, pet, like a deceased pet that you want to have a memory of. And it looks just like the animal photo that you send. It's crazy good. The reality.
I would say that this is a fun thing that you can do like you know, while watching TV or something, but do not do that. Don't do this when you're mad for sure. And also don't do it when your attention is divided in any way. They do, usually if you buy a kit, there'll be um, little finger protectors as well. And especially if you're doing a small thing that doesn't have, like I have a lot of leeway here because this is a large item, but if you're doing a small thing, the finger protectors are great because you could just poke right through So underneath is um, a sponge from like when you would use to wash your car. Oh yeah, I have that um, manual focus on again. So let's see if I can make this better. There we go. Helpful says, I never could get the hang of painting on canvas, but I've always loved sculpting, making things in 3D is fascinating. What's really interesting is the more you poke it, the smaller it gets. It gets smaller and smaller and smaller and firmer. So you really start with something super smaunchy and then you end up with something very firm at the end. I feel like we can see a lot of blue through this so I want to cover up these little blue patches I know we're gonna put brown over so it probably doesn't matter but I want to get a pretty good at least on the face here See where I'm pushing in where the eye would go. There you go. You can kind of see. Like so we can get like a nose and cheeks kind of happening. And then we'll put the eye in with black. And then work up to the brown. Kind of see that I'm shaping the face. I have a little forehead, a little nose, and you just have to poke it like a million thousand times. go fast too if you need to think about the shape can you kind of see like where an eye will go you can kind of see a little nose ridge there starting to happen we're 
we're going to have to poke it a thousand million times to smudge the face in narrow. See how narrow the face is on this rabbit? See how poofy? So we've got the cheeks here, so we're going to have to really poke it in to get... I need to put some over this. This little guy will live on my altar for years, so it's not like I have to do this real quick and get it done super fast. I want to put my intention and my thought into it because he will come out annually onto my Ostar altar every year. So I want him to be really good. The more you poke in one area, the the um, tougher, the tougher it gets. So you can kind of see I'm doing another eye here. Yeah, there are two eyes. Eye holes, I guess you would call them. See a cheek coming out here <laughs> boy white on white it's kind of hard to see <laughs> are you guys able to see this I have also seen people do little things where they um, also will um, paint on top of their needle felting just to do like an eye glint or, you know, an eye, something on an eye or like the inside of an ear or something like that. So you don't have to do it all 100% needle felting. <laughs> Do you see a rabbit face? Please tell me you can see a rabbit face. It's starting to happen here. Move that out of the way. It's a little... Still needs some help, but... It's happening. I probably should have been a little bit more careful on my, uh, my initial cuts. I just really made the, the face just a blob. I probably should have thought about cheeks a little bit more and... That kind of stuff. And if you're not doing it on a live stream, you can definitely take your time on the base a little bit more and get some measurements and do some things. <laughs> I should put some darker um, color in here so you can kind of see the shapes a little bit better because white on white, I understand it's not ideal for live streaming. Let me see. 
see here. I'm gonna take a little bit of this darker brown. What have we got here? Maybe, maybe, maybe this one. It's, um, North says you can lay the bunny on the table when working on one side for stability. I typically would do that, but if I do that, my camera will shake every time I stab it because I will be pushing the table and the camera is ultimately attached to the table. It really takes a long time to do one of these little dudes. I'm surprised at how far we've gotten in an hour because we did the other project in about an hour. So we've been about an hour on this one. <laughs> this does not look good now, but give me a second. It's really... want you to be able to see kind of like where the nose is going to be and that kind of stuff so I wanted to put that in there it's kind of important to work on one side and the other so it doesn't all get pulled to one side and then pulled to another side You see the rabbit. All right, awesome. It's happening. He's got to smunch his head in, though. He's definitely got a fat head for a rabbit.
It's so surprising how this works. It just really does sculpt. It almost looks a little bit like um, a sheep right now because it's all white. <laughs> Okay, we got some rabbit face going on. We're not going to get that far on this tonight, though. Hey, Incognito, welcome. I'm trying to, like, make sure you guys can see the animal, but I'm also afraid of start to start putting the details in because I don't have the base going well enough yet to get to be willing to put on details. But we need to start getting in with the brown. Because the white is just the base. Incognito says, I haven't joined one of your lives since October of last year. Well, welcome. I know it's hard to happen upon them and be ready at the right time. Yeah, the crunch sound. It's going to get really crunchy down here because we haven't been munching it much down here. So up here we've worked it. Well, this is definitely going to have to be a video um, that I publish this. The full thing about because we're not going to get. I was hoping we'd get further in the, in an hour and. Uh, hour 15. I was hoping the base would take like 30 minutes. <laughs> We're still on the base. Use my little three. I'm not going to rush. I'm just 
I was hoping we'd get more done on stream because I always hate leaving a project unfinished. Looks like <laughs> you were tasering him. Yeah, this little three pronger. going to go right about here. I think we need to make his waist a little thinner. This sounds like walking through snow in my backyard. Yes, it does. Very crunchy. Getting a massage. Acupuncture. neck needs a little bit of work.
Will he have felt eyes or some other material? He is going to have felt eyes. His eyes are going to start with like a black and then we're going to put a little bit of this orange and brown around it to make the irises. I'm going to do a little bit more extreme than the picture shows and give him more of a kind of a yellowy eye. Let's see if we have a rabbit that looks like a kind of almost a mustard yellow like that. Yeah, I like that. Let's move this guy over. Boop. I definitely need to make his face sponge back. Oh, gotta get that shape right. We had his forehead um, a little bit more flat. And the sides a little flat, and then his eyes will bl bulge out a little bit. So the eyes should be the whitest part. Got to work on that. You can always um, add more. So you can always build up what you don't have. Like I don't really have the face. I need to actually build up more face out here a little bit. So his nose comes out. Yeah, I think so. And then we'll put the ears on the very back. This is going to take a lot more hours. What was I thinking trying to do this on stream? Need to give him a neck. guys it is almost 6 30 I think I might just do a little bit more of this where I build up his face I shouldn't have put this brown in I wanted to give you guys a sense of the face but now I realize his face needs to come out to about here so I'm gonna have to build a little bit more but I do want to start getting a little bit of the brown in so you can kind of at least see let me just do a little bit here on the the side to just kind of give you an idea. Let's add some tan. Is this little three guy? Can I have a lot more precision with the ones that are a little bit closer together? Like this is a three, but it's a three, um, three. Sm <laughs> okay, or not. A little bit more of a precision tool. Hey, green leaf. Hey, you are not late. Anytime anybody gets here is just the right time to get here. This just to give you an idea of how I'm going to layer up the colors. 
put a little bit of tan and then a little bit of light brown and then a little bit of dark brown. So do you see what I mean when I say it's similar to watercolor where you start with the lightest color and then you, you start adding? So let's get a light brown. It starts to look like real fur if you go in the direction. But you have to build up a lot of different layers. I just want to kind of give you an idea uh, just in this one spot of what I'm going to do all over the whole, whole little rabbit. Cindy says, I can see why the finished product looks so natural. Yeah, it is made out of sheep's wool, but I mean, it does look like, it does generally look like fur. I'm going to just bring a darker color in. I think the smaller, I should say the thinner gauge, so the higher number gauge, actually make less pokey um, holes. Like I've used a really thick needle here, so when I poke it, you actually see the little dot because it's kind of wide, so you can see these dots here. These are really fine needles, and so when I poke through, it just kind of adheres it almost. So you can kind of see how we've built up from a tan to a light brown to a dark brown. So the ears will be created using a, um, a needle felting pad. 
So we'll create the ears out of dark brown and then add the little lighter bits. So you actually just create the ears in the shape that you want and then you start felting it down. So you can kind of see how this is going to be an ear shape. <clears throat> My bad. I didn't uh, didn't have it recording, so it shut off. So you're creating the actual shape that I'm looking at, I'm trying to create this shape that I'm looking at here. And we'll just add more and more layers. And then when we're finally finished with it and we are happy with how thick it is and the shape of it, we'll pull it right off the pad and we'll attach it to the rabbit. It's crazy how this works, you guys. Needle felting is, is so fun. I would suggest if you start, you just start with some really simple shapes like a round, like a hamster or a, yeah, just something simple shapes. Okay, so this is way too thin. We need to build it up. I think it, the ears need to have a bit of a tip. Ooh, we're getting there though. This is the shape I'm looking for. Ad additive sculpture. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Instead of like marble where they take away and um, find the sh statue beneath. This is more of like clay, adding it, adding it up, building it up. And you can do the same thing you would do with clay and build an armature. So you can build the arms and the legs with wire and then coat them or wrap them with this wool. Okay, so we have one ear. See, it's like poofy because I haven't schmunched it in yet. This is a Velcro experience because of the, um, everything sticking to me for sure. So now I'm looking at where I want the, the little lighter colors coming around the edges. Now this stuff at the bottom doesn't matter because it's going to get used to actually attach it to the body. So I'm just leaving it kind of wispy. So we need a little bit in here. 
We just need this to be a little flatter. So you can kind of see that flattened it down. You kind of see how that flattens it. Now I want to put a little bit on this inside ear. So I'm making I'm making our left the the ear on our left. Sorry, I've slowed down my talking here because I'm really thinking about this ear. I don't need all of this. I just need it to be like right about there. You can really almost write, it's almost like using a pencil. You can kind of direct this where you want it to go. And I would say make both ears at the same time. So they're side by side, you know you have the right shape. Okay, what do you guys think? Starting to get there. I wish I knew the best practices to show you guys because I don't know if this is the best way to do something. I think this is how you do it. So also, if you're going to take this up as a hobby, maybe watch a few YouTube videos before you invest money in them. I may be doing this all wrong, but it works.
we have a basic ear. It's going to take a little bit more work, but the general idea is there. And then it'll be attached to the head by this right here. But I think I will build it up thicker simply because it needs to be um, more firm. It's pretty firm now, but I would make it more firm. And then I'm going to do a little bit of brown around the edges, get the shape just right. You know, it's a bit, this ear is about half done, I would say. Keep working on your ear, um, get it just right. And the more you smunch it, the stronger it gets. So it, it'll actually be much more firm and you can actually just smunch the middle so that it, it starts to cup and make an ear shape. You can really, truly make it do what you want. It just takes time. And I don't have enough time on stream to do every technique and stuff, but I'm pretty happy with at least what I've been able to show you. <laughs> so if I smush down the middle, you can kind of see the ear cupping up like a, you know, kind of pulling forward because I'm pushing the middle down. And that is what happens. It's really nice to have these super thin needles, but the third one just broke off. And then you have to extract it before anybody gets hurt. So these thicker ones, they don't break as much, but they, they're more of a blunt instrument kind of a thing, right? They, they take longer to, to work because they're making bigger holes. So it's a trade-off. There's a triad in ear at least, and we have a little triad of tail here, which I will work on more on this tail as well. It needs a bit of more of a needs a bit more bottom to it so it will actually attach to the butt ski. But you can kind of see we'll do the same with the arm. The arms will attach right about there. And will look like that, basically. We can just put this in and then uh, we'll see what the arm looks like. <laughs> but yeah, you can layer up, layer up, layer up colors until you get to what you're going for. And you can smush things in until they get skinnier. I'm going to build out a little bit more nose here a lot of plans but for now I want to bring back our original project and take a look at how everything dried down and how it all finished up so I want to be able to show at least one finished project on the stream in these guys. Just had some white candles.
Look how sparkly they are. Still need to, there's a couple little spots that need to dry down, but they are pretty much ready to go. They are a little bit darker. So they, they're a little bit darker than they look on screen. They just need a little bit of zhuzhing on the outside with a, with a little bit of gold paint, I think. But I'm pretty happy with what we, what we completed in, what is it, almost three hours. I wish we could have gotten a little bit more of the other thing done, but I can't go much longer than three hours. <laughs> He's going to be adorable. Thank you, Dodie. Yeah, definitely her Springmeister. Um, but I will make a video and edit it down so you guys can see the final project of the needle felted rabbit. That will happen. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm sorry we didn't complete that project, but we at least got these little guys painted up, so I'm happy. Our next stream will be the first Wednesday of April, and we're going to do a watercolor painting of... Hmm, I think it's the goddess, Dos, the goddess Ostara. Yeah. So um, a lot more fertility and maybe another bunny rabbit to be had. So yeah, you'll be able to go back and watch from the beginning once the video is over and it turns into a, a, a regular, or the stream is over and it turns into a regular video on demand. I don't know if that's immediate or if it takes some time. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me and I hope I will see you all on the first Wednesday of April for our next live stream. We'll be doing watercolor painting and happy Ostara to you all, because that will be happening um, in between streams. So have a beautiful holiday if you celebrate. Thanks, guys, and I will see you next time. <laughs>